everyone welcome back to my channel uh been a minute how you been how are your parentals how are your studies how's your mental health what do you want me to do we've been here less than a week and i feel, I feel like it's a year i hate it here hope it's good Hope it's been well. Um, I had no idea. I literally hadn't created content for 90 days. What? Have no idea how that happened. Um, but we're back. We're gonna pretend it didn't happen and we're not gonna address it at all. Please, Please do, do not ask. ask. Today's video is going to be about hair. Even though my last video on here was literally me saying I wasn't gonna do any more hair videos, we're also going to ignore that. Thank you. Um, but I'm actually kind of excited because I did a hair video on a hair method I've literally never tried. And I am definitely someone I would say is a little adventurous when it comes to trying hairstyles and hair techniques and just doing things to my hair. So I was actually pretty surprised. I hadn't done this one yet. So if you are interested, I'm going to assume you are because you're here watching me. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> and and we're gonna we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to that right now. But before the video starts, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers for literally not mass unsubscribing to me. Uh, thank you. Thank you very nice very nice indeed um i'm sorry i've been trash uh i'm not the worst youtuber in the world but i'm definitely uh definitely up there uh i'm up there so uh thank you to everyone who's still here and um to everyone who is new hey how you doing hope you hope you like this video and you want to stick around and you want to subscribe so yeah without further ado for further ado Let's get to the video. Today, I'm going to be gluing down my hair. This is such an old school, I want to say arbitrary. I don't even know if that's the correct word to use, but this is such an old school way of installing hair. Like this, a lot of us either grew up getting our hair done like this, or this is the first hair type, hair extension, hair extension experience we ever had, or we know someone who lost all their hair through this method. It's old school it's super old but i wanted to do it because i feel like not that many people know about it or i feel like people have we've kind of like written it off as like oh you know no one does their hair like that anymore no one no one's doing doing hair like that anymore like we do wigs we do sew-ins we do weaves like we're past that um but i honestly don't think that's true i think this is such an amazing method to do um it's specific that's for sure it's definitely not a method everyone's gonna be doing but i think a method like this the glue-in method still has it it needs some respect on its name um it's a really easy method uh you start off with clean hair you know clean uh lightly pressed out and you want to make sure there's no oils on your hair so if you use heavy oils you know you're gonna want to you won't you're gonna want to skip that this time and um you're going to take your bundles usually people use old bundles so this is great for people who have a lot of hair lying around and they still want to use it um this is great for people who are kind of in between hairstyles let's say you're waiting for hair to come in you've ordered your hair it's not going to be here for a while <laughs> Oop. excuse me <laughs> and you're 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 basically waiting for for your hair to be done this is such an easy quick method to do um but you're you're going to separate your hair and you're gonna use your glue of choice. I was using a glue called liquid gold, which is not like the standard. Most people will use the black salon pro glue. <laughs> the, <laughs> I was so happy, like I was lit. Like I was like, oh, I got it down packed, but literally uh, you're, you're gonna see. Um, you're gonna apply your glue to, your, th to the weft of, of the bundle, and then you're gonna stick that bundle as close to your scalp 
as possible. Now, when I was reading these instructions, I was like, ooh, let me not, let me make sure it's really far away from the scalp. But literally, you have to be trying to, to put it on your scalp, to actually put it on your scalp. Don't be afraid to get close. I was afraid and I had to redo a lot of tracks because they weren't placed properly because I put them way too far down the weft or down the hair. Um, so don't be afraid to get really close in there. And another thing is read the instructions on your glue. Read the instructions. I did not read the instructions specifically for this glue. And so here it goes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just as confused as you are, girl. I'm conf I'm confuzzled. Um, but that happened because I was not applying the glue properly. So for the liquid gold glue, their instructions are to put a thin line of glue on your hair. Yes, your hair. Like the hair going out of your scalp, that hair. And put a thin line of glue on, on the wefted bundle. And... It says to seal it straight with a flat with a with a warm curler. Um, my curling iron does not have warm. It has hot. <laughs> it has ready to curl hot. So if you have a curling iron that hits like two something, like that's that's what you want to use. Um, so it, you know the instructions are like you know hit it with a curling iron and then it sets. Um, so I didn't do that. And then when I read the instructions and I did try to do that uh it wasn't how do i say this the hair still wasn't cooperating the glue was not gluing like it should have been gluing um which is why you you saw me bring out my flat my my flat iron that's why you saw me bring out my my blow dryer even though the directions don't say blow dryer um but you you have to hit it with the blow dryer and i hit it with the blow dryer on medium heat and high heat and cool heat yeah i went through all the heats but the heat that really did it was medium heat and if you can withstand the pain high heat as well um that ended up being the best method it was you know blow dryer and then right here in these clips i'm using my flat iron to kind of seal it in with that heat but if you have a, a curling iron that you can use i use my wand later in the video but if you have a wand or a curling iron that you can use instead definitely use that i was not getting enough heat with my flat iron but i couldn't see in the back of my head and i didn't want to burn my scalp with a with a curling iron so i mean eh, you know understandably but um it the glue was definitely finicky to say the least it it seemed like some pieces got on there amazingly um and i had the best results when i used just as much glue as possible like the amount of glue i used <laughs> is just like five times the amount you need to use i like some of the glue was dripping off the track my hair is just like as free as can be right now <laughs> but uh oof. oh i didn't know we have so many dance breakdowns in this video okay um but that seemed to be the best thing was using a lot of glue like just uh, just so much glue and then hitting it with a blow dryer on medium heat and then finalizing with the curling iron that seemed to have the best results but even then it was kind of like wish-washy you know like some pieces seem to like have melted into my hair really really well like i have some pieces on my head that feel like i'm going to have to get a jackhammer to get it out and <laughs> then i have pieces that are like just hanging on by a thread they're like they're ready they're ready to be let go they're ready to go to the afterlife they've done their purpose they they've done the best they could do and now they're just ready to go um but I've, i have other pieces that are just in here really really well so it's it's a mixed bag but you know all in all it's it was all right. I mean, the glue was only five bucks. You can definitely get it cheaper if you buy it directly from the Liquid Gold website. Um, and I, because I had went onto the Liquid Gold website before I did this video, because I wanted to make sure that it was still active, because um, it's such an old company, you know, it's like 
it's from like the 90s basically or the early 2000s and their website is still there but it, like looking at it it's kind of like a, a blast from the past you know it's just like <laughs> it's like it's like stuck in 2011 2008 or something um all their social media is down they don't have any social media no facebook no instagram at least from what i saw when i clicked on their links um but they are still active i emailed them i sent them an email you know saying hey you know just want to make sure you guys are, are still around and tony got back to me and he was like yep we're still here you can even call us um so maybe i'll be able to like drive down to la and pick up the glue instead of having to order it online that would be cool um but i all in all all in all did like troubles and all really enjoyed this this hairstyle um i'm going to let the video play am i am i i don't know maybe I'll, i'm gonna let the video play so you guys can see how i um how i was you know installing the hair and just comments on on pieces this is not how i traditionally do <laughs> a hair tutorial a hair video i normally like try to be as professional as possible and like mm. Ooh, you know but like fuck that <laughs> we're, we're gonna have fun today it's it's a it's a loose it's a loose tutorial um what was happening here oh i guess nothing was happening there i i, I guess i was trying to just make sure that my 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 parts were clean that was another that's another big thing you definitely need your clips when you do this hairstyle I didn't say that at the beginning of the video, <laughs> but you definitely want to have your clips there. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the piece I had did underneath had fell out again, like the glue thing. It's like, sometimes it's amazing. Sometimes it's not, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't even know what to do. Um, but I just went back, added some glue on the, the corners and, and glued it back. And when I'm gluing it back, I'm, I'm doing on heat. <laughs> I, i'm sorry i gasped because i was i just like realized something um one thing i kept doing was like i wasn't sure how much pressure i should be putting on like the the weft because when pieces would fall out and i would look at the pieces it would look like the glue had seeped into the weft and so i was like huh like am i Am I putting too much pressure on and like the glue is just like becoming one with the weft or am I not putting enough pressure on and so the glue has nothing to harden to and so it just hardens to it like I don't know and there's there's so little information about it because this was such a word of mouth thing that you know like this is from like such an old method like no one's even talking about this or people do talk about it like they're they're using like the stocking cap method which I mean, like, you're going to have better grip on that, I, I think. Whatever. Um, but, I mean, it was... Oh, look at that corner piece down there. It's, like, coming off. It's, it's like, hit and miss. Like, I want to say so badly that the glue is decent because there are pieces on here that are, like, wow, amazing. Amazing. And those pieces, I, I know, like, I follow the directions as closely as possible. So, like, pieces that are still on my head. Today is, what, Friday? I did this on, I think, Saturday or Sunday. Um, the pieces that are still on my head are the ones where I put glue on my hair and glue on the track. But I also used a gang of glue, like, just so much glue. So, those pieces are in there amazing. But if... If I didn't put enough glue or if I didn't put glue on my hair and on the track, like those are the pieces that are kind of falling out. Um, they're the ones that are like having the most trouble staying in. They're the ones I've had to like go back and, and fix. And I've definitely fixed at least one track a day. So I don't want to blame the glue for that. Um, but it does. It does suck. If I'm going to be honest, it does suck. Um, this track I got in. Okay, you see how I placed the weft damn near on my head? That track is in there really well. That track, and then there's like, there's like a few more tracks in the back. Like, from this track onward, those tracks are in there like really nice. 
really nice felt good feel secure five days later uh is it five days yeah it's five days um it feels good okay so here we are i've finally finished the back and it took me i think it took me like two hours to finish the back totally because in total it took me like six hours to do everything so did it take me six hours yeah it, did. it took me a few hours so maybe two and a half two and a half three hours to finish the back maybe less than that it was it was quick like i did my entire hair in one oh, i didn't my entire i did all of my hair in one day and normally what 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 the f what the fuck did I, what <laughs> i have no idea what i said in that <laughs> i'm not even gonna edit it out i'm just gonna leave it in there um so here i am in the front uh, okay i was gonna i was thinking about doing a story time about this but in the 90 days that i wasn't making any content i went and gotten sewing done and i was planning on doing a video and stuff like that um about getting a sew-in and things like that um, i ended up not going to my original stylist and went to a different stylist because i'm stupid and totally goofed up my appointment time and so my stylist was like, hey, you know, why don't you just go to my coworker? She's going to charge you the same amount. Um, and the stylist is really nice. Like, she's super nice. She was so nice to take me last minute. Um, but she braided my hair down so tight that it, like, like gave me a few bald spots not gonna lie not all over but like around my perimeter in the front like specifically uh <laughs> my scalp was screaming um i didn't even realize that my hair was being pulled so tight i left the sewing in for like a month and in that month it did it did do some damage um so by the time i realized that my my scalp was screaming i went and and took out my sewing that I spent like $300 on. Yeah, that's fun. Um, and that was the pretty, you know, bald spot that was left. My scalp was super irritated. Ooh. <laughs> um, you, you, you see, yeah, you see how I just like slid right out? Yeah. Uh, I didn't use enough glue. That's on me. That's on, that one is on me. I should have used way, 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 way more glue. And that's like that's the lesson of the day use a lot of glue use a lot of glue don't be afraid to use the glue um this time when i went back with the glue it was fine did i i'm like feeling yeah i've had this back in i haven't had to fix this one yet since i put it back in um but you know yeah uh here i am i went back to the room because it was hot and I was tired of standing on my feetsies. And so I'm back in my, my room with Mo. Um, I wonder if I should blur out her, her little bloomers. I'll ask her. <laughs> bloomers? One of my 80. Okay, so right here, I, I, over, I overlapped my, my weft in the front with the weft in the back. Don't do that. Like, you should definitely break up like you guys saw earlier where i parted my back and my front you have to do that so that you can have flexibility with your hair when you when you do a glue in or when you're doing eye tips or when you're doing tapins or whatever you can't just keep going in a perfect u all around your head you have to break it up at that earmark so that you can move your hair appropriately if that makes sense um but don't overlap it the way i did like you can you can definitely put hair in that parting space like you see like right now i'm doing the front i can put hair in the parting space that i parted for the back does that make sense <laughs> i hope it does but just don't overlap it with the tracks that i that you glue in the back um anyways here it is all done in one day amazing literally that never happens usually takes me three days to do my hair um and it looks so good like it looks so good it's it's kind of worth all the trouble that i went through it's super flat uh it feels amazing i can get to my scalp i my scalp can breathe it, it, yeah here's a track that as soon as i was done was like kind of it was coming undone already again the amount of glue that you have to use it 
if you don't use enough glue, it's gonna pop right out. The entire thing didn't pop out though. It was only like the tip. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I went off screen. Went off screen. I turned off my camera and I fixed that. Um, and then like the following days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there was at least one track that I needed to do. Um, at least every morning when I would like wake up and like check, you know, like there was always one track that was just kind of like blown in the wind. Uh, but that set aside, I still really like this install. It's super flat, feels really nice, was really easy to do. You don't need to be you know, the most amazing person when it comes to doing your hair to do this method. And so if you're trying to get into hair, uh, it's definitely a great, a great way to start. There is one thing that I do want to note because a lot of people, you know, will say that gluing your hair in will break your hair off. That's just not true. <laughs> it's just not true. That's like the equivalent of saying doing braids will break your hair off. Doing a sewing will break your hair off. Putting a wigs on will break your hair off. When the reality is improper technique. Improper technique and treating your hair poorly when you have it installed will be the reason your hair breaks off. And so like what that means is like trying to pull out your tracks. Don't do that. You're going to pull your hair out. You are going to have a bald spot after. Don't do that. Um trying to trying to like remove glue with nothing but conditioner yeah i know i know i know people online do it i know you saw a youtube video that's that said you could do it don't do it don't do it these are chemicals you think conditioner some silicone is, is some silicone and some slip is is gonna be the thing some people do it and they have no problem other people do it and then they're bald and then they blame the glue it's the glue's fault I'm bald. It's not. You try to rip out your extensions. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, this glue and every other glue I've ever seen usually has a remover. It Nine times out of nine, it's going to have a remover. And the website, the company, whoever sells it is going to say, please buy the remover with the glue. Please listen to them. <laughs> Don't try to remove glue with coconut oil. It's not strong enough. Yes, oils can loosen the bond in glue, but can it fully get rid of it? No. Uh, another thing, people will remove glue with alcohol and acetone. Don't do that either. If you mess up, like I had messed up and where is it? Uh, I can't find it. It probably, it probably is not really that much. I think I brushed it out. But I had messed up and I was being lazy when I was trying to fix a track. And instead of going to the bathroom and fixing it, I totally messed up, missed the weft, and just got glue straight in my hair. Um, first of all, that glue dried instantly. <laughs> and then I just had like a big ball of glue right here. Right here in my hair. Yep. You see that? You see how all my hair is still there? The glue didn't damage my hair. But had I taken it out improperly, it would have damaged my hair. So if you spill glue on your hair, you can use acetone for that. Yeah, acetone will break up the bonds enough to, to fix small mistakes. Acetone will not break up the bonds enough to remove an entire install, okay? You have to go and get whatever remover they have, whether it's a shampoo or a gel whatever the remover is that goes to this glue or goes to the salon pro glue which is the black one you need to get it just get it just why would you even don't don't try and just pull it out with some conditioner you can try but if if you're feeling tension if it if it feels like it's pulling your hair out it probably is so that's one thing I really want people to know. Um, all right. How long is this video? Oof. Uh, what are we at? 25 minutes? Dang. All right. Let me wrap this up. Um, so that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't really a tutorial. It's kind of like a, a relaxed video about doing hair. 
um i have other video ideas i would like to do but then again i said that 90 days ago but i'm better i've i've gone through so much transformation i am truly a new soraya well not a new soraya because a new soraya is like a clean slate i'm a soraya who has not made content in 90 days and is very sad about that <laughs> um so hopefully moving forward i will be making more content i bought a new mic um i know a lot of people asked me to do an asmr video um because i did one that one time and a few well, a few people asked for more um so maybe i'll do more i had recorded one when i got my new purse but i didn't like the way it sounded so it never went up <laughs> um but i do have more videos i want to do um more updates I have things i want to talk about so if you like this video and you like the sound of my voice and it doesn't make you want to run away from me please consider subscribing your subscription is very much appreciated and it will totally be respected not like those other youtubers who don't respect it i won't name names but we both we both know who we're talking about yeah uh please like and share the video if you care uh, share it to all of your friends who have <laughs> who have literally had hair loss because they glued in a tra <laughs> don't, don't do that <laughs> but um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys sooner than 90 days <laughs> bye